friends, this is my five favorite videos. Hope you like them. Bye. Hey, Olivia, what are we going to draw today? A cookie. A cookie with what on them? M&M's or uh -huh. chocolate chips? M&M's. Um, M&M's. Um, um, um. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. What shape is a cookie? Um, a circle. A circle. We're going to do a lot of circles in this lesson. And what else do we need for this lesson? Crayons. Crayons and? Paper. Paper. You ready to start? Yeah. All right. Let's start. <laughs> We're first going to start with this color. What color is this? Orange. Orange. This is our orange crayon. Yeah. And we're using this because we don't have a brown crayon, but our friends at home or in the classroom can use a brown crayon. Yeah. And we're first going to draw the circle shape. We're going to draw a big circle for our cookie. You want to draw a big circle on your paper? Oh, yes. That's Good a job. Tiny one. It's a tiny one. I like it. You could even add more cookies if you want. Yeah. And we're going to switch to our black crayon. And this is so that we can put a little face on our cookie. We're going to draw two circles, one for each eye. Did, what color did I say this was? Black. It's black. <laughs> it is black. <laughs> right. Do you want to do two circles for yeah. your cookie eyes? Yeah. You can draw two little circles for the eyes. One. Ah, oh, so cute. And two. Then let's draw a smile so that our cookie is happy. You want to draw a smile between your two eyes? Yeah. Oh, that is the cutest cookie ever. Now we can color in our eyes. Let's color in the circles, the little circles for the eyes. We'll color this one and also this one. How many eyes do we have? Two. Two. <laughs> What should we add to our cookie? M&M's. Um, um, um. M&M's, okay. We're gonna draw more circles and we're gonna draw them with different colors. So I'm gonna draw two circles for red M&M's. Do you wanna draw two little M&M circles? There we go. And you can color them in too. Do you wanna do one more? Do you wanna color in my red circles too? Yeah. Should we draw blue M&M's next? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna draw a blue M&M and a blue M&M over here too. You wanna add blue M&M's to your cookie? What color should we do next? Green. Should we do green? Okay, yeah. let's add green M&M's. We gotta add lots of M&M's. Our friends at home could add as many M&M's as they want. Let's do one more color. Let's use our yellow crayon and add another M&M. Oh, there we go. All right, we need to do one more thing to our cookie. We need to use our orange or brown crayon to color in our cookies. And we're gonna... We not have a brown. Yeah, we don't have a brown. We're using orange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna use this to color in our cookies and we're gonna go all around each M&M. So this is a little tricky. You guys at home could ask for a little help if you need to, but color around your cookies. Is that cool, Olivia? Yeah. All right, now this part we're gonna fast forward, but you guys at home can pause the video and it's take time black. to color your cookies also. It's black. It is black, so you gotta be careful. Our colors blend if you touch them. So we're gonna try and be really careful when we color around our cookie. All right, this part we're gonna fast forward. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Olivia, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring your cute little cookie. Does it look tasty? Yeah. Do you wanna eat it? Yeah. <laughs> don't, no, no, don't eat your paper. <laughs> We hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing your own cookies. Now you could use those same steps to draw even more cookies. Would that be fun? Yeah. You could add chocolate chips. You could even add pink frosting on the top. Mmm, pink frosting. Yeah. Does that sound good? This is like up here. Oh yeah, you could put the frosting on top. Not so, this. Yeah, you could do a new one. Yeah. The pink frosting could be like hair. No. <laughs> We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Olivia, what are we going to draw in this lesson? I'm a frog. Yeah, we're going to draw a cute frog. Now, this lesson is meant for younger artists. How old are you? Three. Yeah, three. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need crayons and also... Paper. Paper. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay. We're first going to start with our... What color is this? Um, green. Yeah, green. We're going to start by drawing a green circle in the middle of our paper. Can you draw a green circle right yeah. here? Yeah, good job. Now we're going to switch to our black crayon and we're going to draw the eyes. We're going to draw two more circles, but we're going to draw them smaller. We're going to draw one right here and we're going to draw another one over here. Two eyes at the top. Oh, yes. And you're coloring it in. Good job. Oh, I like how. <laughs> I like how small you colored your eyes. I'm going to color my eyes in, too. It's so fun I do small eyes. Yeah, you did small eyes. Now let's switch back to our... Oh, first, before we switch back to the green, let's draw a mouth on our frog. And we could draw a happy mouth. Yes, good job. Oh, <laughs> super happy mouth. I like it. Now we're going to switch back to our green crayon and we're going to draw the part that goes over our frog's eyes. We're going to draw an upside down U. We'll go around like this and we'll go around like this on both eyes. One and then another one. <laughs> I love your frog so much. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, now we're going to switch to our red crayon. And we're gonna draw the tongue because they stick, uh. yeah, they <laughs> they stick their tongues out and then they eat stuff. What do frogs like to eat? Um, flies. Yeah, flies. <laughs> Let's draw the tongue right here. We're gonna draw a big U shape. The letter U right here underneath the mouth. Do you want to color in your tongue? Yeah. You did it. Now I'm gonna color my tongue also. Now we're going to switch back to our green crayon and we're going to color in our frog. This part we're going to fast forward so you guys can pause the video and take time to color your frogs also. Good job, you did it! Okay, now let's draw our frog's toes. We're going to draw three toes. One, two, three. And do you want to draw three little toes sticking out over here? One, two, and three. Good job! Then we're going to add three more toes for his other foot. One, two, three, right here. One, two, three. Oh, those are little toes. <laughs> I like how little they are. That's awesome. Okay, now let's draw the arms. We're going to draw one arm sticking out over here and another arm sticking out over here. I'm going to draw one line and another arm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then we're going to draw the fingers on our frog's hands. One, That's two, like three. Wiggly. Yeah, wiggly arms. <laughs> I like drawing the arms up because then it looks like he's going to reach for his, the flies, his dinner. You want to draw three little bumps like this for his fingers. One, <laughs> two, and one more. Oh yeah, little one. You could draw a little bigger. You want to draw a little bigger finger? Oh yes. Oh, he looks like he's giving a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, draw the little fingers over here. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, add three fingers over here at the same size. Do one, two, and another one. <laughs> it's an arm. Yeah, it looks like it's on his arm. I'm going to add three over here, too. One, two, three. Let's All right. Let's do the brown day. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to color in my fingers like this. Color in these, the toes down here and toes down here. Do you want to color? Oh, what? <laughs> he forgot. I forgot the fingers over here. <laughs> All right, you want to color in your toes and fingers? Mm -hmm. What do frogs like to sit on? Lily pad. A lily pad, yeah. Let's start right here on this side and we're going to draw an oval. It comes around like this and back on the other side. You can start here, draw around and connect over there. Yes, that is an awesome lily pad. It's like his house. Okay, what are we missing now? We gotta draw something else. One more thing. Fly. Yeah, flies. We need to draw our flies. We're gonna switch back to our black crayon, put our green one over here, and we're gonna draw a circle first. Draw a circle 
and then color it in. You want to draw a circle right here and color it in? But I'll do wings too. Oh yeah, we'll add the wings too. There's the body. Wow, that's a big fly. That's going to be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I like it. All right, and then we're going to add the wings. Perfect. You did it. Two wings. Can I add wings to mine? Yeah. All right, we're going to draw a U shape and another I U shape. I love a big one. A big one. I love it. I'm going to add one more fly right here. Circle and the wings. And it don't have eyes. Yeah, no. <laughs> You could add eyes, but we're going to leave those off. Do you want to add one more fly? Yeah. Above his head over here. Yes, you did it. I love how big your flies are. Those look like tasty flies. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we need to do one more thing. This part we're going to fast forward again, but we're going to add water underneath our lily pad. So I'm going to draw a line right here and a line over here, and then I'm going to color underneath it. Does that look like water? Yeah. Okay, do you want to add water to your drawing also? Yeah. Olivia, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring and drawing your frog. What was your favorite part? All of it. All of it? That was my favorite part too. And I especially love that your frog looks different than mine. They both turned out perfect. That's because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, and to practice. We hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! <laughs> what are we going to draw today? A pig. Yeah, a pig. We hope you're going to follow along with us. We're going to use shapes, and this lesson is meant for younger artists. How old are you? Three. Yeah, three. For this lesson, you need crayons and also some... Paper. Paper. You ready to start? Yeah. We're first going to use our... What color is this? Pink. Your favorite color, huh? Yeah, my favorite color. <laughs> looks like red. It does look like red, but when we draw it on paper, it's going to be pink. We're going to draw a big circle or oval. Whoa, really big. <laughs> and I'm also going to color it in. Now this part we're going to fast forward so you guys at home can pause the video to draw your circle and color it in too. Mm -hmm. So I'll do this and then you could draw a circle and color yours in too. What should we draw next? Ears. Ears. <laughs> okay, let's draw an upside down V. Can you do one right here? Yeah. And you could do two for each ear. Okay. Yes, and then another one on the other like side. Like a bear. Yeah, that's okay. And then another one. Yeah. And then I'm going to draw another one over here too. And I'm going to color these in. <laughs> you want to color your ears in too? What should we draw next? What's our, what's our pig missing down here? Um, leg. Legs, yeah. Let's draw a leg sticking down. How many legs does a pig have? Four. Four legs, yeah. So we're going to draw four lines coming down from our pig. Do you want to draw four lines? Yeah. Yes. Okay, now we're done with our pink crayon and we did all of the pink shapes first. Now we're going to switch to our black because we're going to do this on top. And the first thing we're going to do is trace our oval. We're going to start like this. We're going to draw a big oval around our pig's body. You want to do that again? Draw another circle or an oval over your pig. Yes. Good job. And then we drew our ears. Let's draw upside down V and upside down V for the other ear. Then we need to draw our legs. We're going to draw a leg. One, two, three, four. All right, Olivia, we did it. We finished drawing our pigs. No, we're not. We're not done. No. What do we still need to draw? We need eyes. We need eyes. Also, no. a nose. And <laughs> <laughs> what else do we need? Yeah, mouth. or a mouth. Yeah, we need mouth. Okay, let's draw the nose first. We're going to draw an oval in the middle of our circle. Draw an oval right here for the nose. Whoa. Whoa, yes. <laughs> it looks <laughs> like a jelly bean. It does look. 
So now we're gonna do the nostrils. We're gonna draw two circles. Do you wanna draw two circles? Yeah. One. And also you can color two. them. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. You could color the nostrils. I wanna color my nostrils too. What else should we add to our pigs? Eyes. Eyes? Okay, let me draw. One, two. Those are two little eyes. Yeah, Don't add two eyes. little eyes up I here. Just smaller eyes. Yeah, really small Did eyes. One and <laughs> oh, and a big one. <laughs> and also, I think we need a little smile. I'll do big smile. Or a big smile, yeah. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, even bigger. It kind of looks like a mustache too. Yeah. <laughs> the last thing we need to add to our pig is a curly tail. We're gonna go like this. Right. Like that. You, you could draw it on this side since you have more room on this side. You want to draw a curl? That one's tricky curly. I like it. We could also add another upside down V inside of the ears. You want to do that? Yeah. Olivia, we did it. We finished drawing our piggies. Give me five. And I love that our two drawings look a little different. They both turned out awesome. Yours is my favorite. What's the most important thing? To have fun. Yeah, to have fun and to practice. Practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> That's a long bye. <laughs> hey, our friends, today we're going to draw a cute. What are we going to draw? A draft. <laughs> For this lesson, you need some crayons. We're going to use these. What colors do we have? Yellow. Yellow. Brown. Brown and black. And you also need some paper. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay, first thing we're gonna use is our yellow crayon. So we're gonna put these off to the side. We're first gonna draw our giraffe's body and we're gonna draw a oval shape in the middle of our paper. Do you wanna draw an oval right here? Yeah. Right here. Yeah, oh, that's a big circle, I like it. You did a great job. Then we're gonna draw the head way up here at the top and we're gonna draw a smaller oval. Draw up here because, so that we have room for a big long neck. Draw right here, little oval. Yeah, good job. Now we're gonna draw the neck. We're That's gonna, so long. It is long. We're gonna draw a big long line that connects the little oval down to the big oval. Draw a line that comes down. Good. And then we're gonna draw another line right next to it. Look at that. So that our neck is big. What should we draw on the giraffe's head? What are these? Horns. Oh yeah, we need some horns, but also we need some? Ears. Ears, yeah. Let's draw upside down V. We're gonna draw up and then down. And you could draw two of them. One, two. Okay. There's one ear, and then do another ear. Yeah, can I add my second ear? Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're gonna add another ear right here. Now we need to draw down here. What that is- That look like a big one. It does. <laughs> and it looks like the letter M. Yeah. What's he missing down here? What's our giraffe missing? Legs. Yeah, legs. She's missing legs. We're gonna draw one and two. You wanna draw two legs on the front? Yeah. Up here, one, two. One. I don't want to ruin the table. <laughs> you're not going to ruin the table. <laughs> Good job. You're doing a great job <laughs> keeping it on the paper. <laughs> you got two legs for the front. Now I need to add two legs for the back. <laughs> Can I do two more legs? Yeah. Let's do them back here. One. And two. It looks like a sun. <laughs> it does look like a sun. These, these look like sun rays coming off of our big sun. Now we need something on the back. What do giraffes have on the back right here? Tail. A tail, yeah. Let's draw a long tail up. I'm gonna draw a long tail up. Great job, Olivia. We did it, we drew our giraffe, except we need to color it in with our crayon. Now this part we're gonna fast forward. So remember you can pause the video and take extra time to color your giraffes yellow. Should yeah. we fast forward? Yeah. Okay. You did it! You finished coloring your giraffe and you did such a great job. Did you miss a spot? No. No? <laughs> but I did. 
Oh, that look kind of looks like the mouth right there. No. <laughs> you want to color it in? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> now you did it. You colored the whole thing and you did such a great job. Okay, now we're going to switch to our black crayon. And we're going to draw a circle up here for the eye. Yeah. Let's draw a circle. You want to color my circle in? <laughs> oh, good job. Oh, I love your circle. <laughs> Yeah, good. You colored in my circle. You want to color our circle too? Now we can draw the smile. We're going to draw a little smile right here for a happy giraffe. Little lion. Yes. Now, what do they have on top of their heads next to their ears? Horns. Horns, yeah. Let's draw two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's draw two lines on top of our giraffe. And you could draw them up here, coming out of the eye. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, one. <laughs> look like I lost it. It does look like I lost And you could do another one. You want to do another one right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> now at the top, we could also add a little circle. Look at that and color it in. Just a little circle for the top of the horn. Okay. Okay, now we need to give our giraffe shoes. Uh, not shoes. <laughs> Shoes. No, they don't. <laughs> they wear feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to draw a circle down here and color it in. Another circle on this one. Color it in. Another circle. One for each leg. How many feet do giraffes have? One, two, three, four. Four. <laughs> do you want to draw four feet on your giraffe too at the bottom? Yeah. Draw a little circle and then color it in. Remember to pause the video if you need extra time to color your giraffe's shoes. I mean feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got it. Just shoes. I know, it's just feet. <laughs> <laughs> now we need to add little hairs on our giraffe's tail. I'm going to draw another circle or an oval up here on the end of it's the tail. A circle. Yeah, a circle or an oval. Yeah, Either one. <laughs> right here. Just a little one. <laughs> and then color it in. Color, color. <laughs> color, color. <laughs> now we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our giraffe. Well, we're not completely done because our giraffe kind of looks like a yellow horse with a long neck. What is yeah. our giraffe missing? Uh, it's something. Spot. Yeah, spots. We need to add spots. So I'm going to draw three circles on the body. Do you want to draw three circles too? And on the neck. Yes, we're going to add them to the neck, too. Let's first draw them three circles on the body. Yeah, there you go. And you can color it in. This part, let's fast forward again. We're going to color in three spots on the body, and then let's add two spots to the neck. You could even add more spots if you want. Remember to pause the video to take extra time to draw your spots, too. Yeah. Olivia, give me five. You did a great job on coloring your spots and drawing your entire giraffe. Was that fun? Yeah. What was your favorite part? The legs. The legs? I think my favorite part were the spots and the legs. I like the legs too. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you fun making giraffes. Yeah. <laughs> we do. We hope you had a lot of fun making a giraffe. Should we say goodbye to our, our friends? Yeah. See you later, goodbye. our friends. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, art friends. Today we're going to draw a... Bunny. Yeah, we're going to draw a bunny with a carrot. Yes. Because bunnies like carrots? Yes, and I love carrots. <laughs> <laughs> For this lesson, you need something to draw with. We're going to use, what are these called? Um, crayons? Yeah, crayons. <laughs> they also need some paper. Are you ready to start? Yes. Now we're going to use our blue crayon first, and we're going to draw our bunny using shapes. The first shape we're going to draw is, oh, we're also going to use letters. But the first shape we're going to draw is a circle for the bunny head. We're going to draw a circle like that. Do you want to draw a circle? Yes. I'm going to draw it right here. Yeah, that's a good spot. Oh, it's a perfect circle. It looks like an egg. It kind of looks like an egg. Mm -hmm. That's okay because bunnies like eggs too. Next, let's draw our bunny eyes. I'm going to draw a circle and another circle. Two circles and color them in. There's one circle, there's one eye, and then another eye. 
Yes. Do you also want to draw the smile to make our bunny happy? Yeah. Okay. There you go, that's perfect. I'm gonna do the same thing. Draw a little smile for our bunny. And I draw right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's our bunny missing? Big? Ears. Yeah, big ears. We're gonna draw the letter U, but we're gonna draw it upside down. So we're gonna draw a big bunny ear like that. Do you wanna draw a big bunny ear going up and down? Go up and down. One. There you go, you do, there's one bunny ear. Now let's draw another bunny ear because they have two, right? Yes. Yeah. One, two. You wanna draw another bunny ear? Right there, oh, and I like that one. That one's a little smaller, it's cute. Yeah, that's it, there you go. <laughs> Next, we're gonna draw our bunny's body. We're gonna draw the letter C. Mm -hmm. We're gonna draw it right here, connected to the head. There's the letter C. You wanna draw a body? You start here, go over and back. Start up here, there you go, draw over, around. Oh, it's a little body, I like it. And then we're gonna draw. <laughs> you can draw a bigger body if you want. You want draw, there you go, oh, that's a big body. And then we're gonna draw another C, but we're gonna draw a smaller one. This is for the tail. Look at that, letter C. Yes. We can draw it on the on the back of our bunny. Ah, that's a perfect little bunny tail. Next, we're gonna draw a W or two U's stuck together for the feet. I'm gonna draw them up here. One, two, two U's stuck together. We could draw it right here. Two bumps. Roop, and another one. Roop, and a, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> then let's do two more, two more feet for the back feet. One, two. We could draw them back here by the tail. One. Oh, that's a big one. You could draw another one right next to it. <gasps> you did it. You drew your bunny feet. And a pink. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We need pink in the ears, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's switch to our pink and we're going to draw the inside of our bunny ears. So we're going to draw another shape upside down you like that in each ear. You want to do it? Yeah. Right inside. Go up and then down. Oh. <gasps> Yes, you're do wow, you did it. Not great. And that's okay, you press a little harder. Do it again, press harder. Yeah. There you go, look at that. <laughs> you wanna do another one right here in the small ear? Yes, inside, there you go. And I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing, inside of here. Now this part we're gonna fast forward, but we're gonna color in the inside of our bunny ears. Mm -hmm. Now you guys can pause the video and take time to color in your ears also. All right, we did it. We finished coloring our bunny ears. We could also do little cheeks too if we want. We're yeah. gonna do pink cheeks. You wanna do pink cheeks? Yes. Yes. One and two. Two pink cheeks. One and two. <laughs> now we're gonna switch to our orange crayon because what is our bunny missing? Um, a carrot. A carrot. And the same green. Oh, <laughs> and green, yeah. <laughs> Let's draw another shape. We're gonna draw an oval for our carrot, but I'm gonna draw a tall oval for our carrot. You wanna do a tall oval right here so that our bunny can eat it. Yes, then we're gonna color in our carrot. It's orange is better. Orange is better, yeah. <laughs> do you wanna color in your carrot? Yes. Now we're gonna switch to our green crayon, and what's this for? What's our green crayon for? Uh, the top. Yeah, the top of the carrot. Let's do like a- Like leaves. Yeah, leaves, you're right. Let's do a line coming out of our carrot. Right off the top, out of the top. There you go, a line. And then we're gonna draw a circle because there's lots of leaves on the top. And then I'm gonna color in the circle. So draw a circle and then color it in for the top of the leaves. Olivia, we did it. We finished drawing our bunnies and our carrots. Did you have fun? Yes. Yeah. You promise? Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing bunnies using shapes. Do you want to tell our art friends that we love you? Yes. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.